Alrighty then, so welcome back once again to Tales of Zestiria, and we are going to tell Sergei of our cruel, cruel murder of the... I can't remember her name. What, what was she good for? What was she good for? I have no clue. She was some kind of evil being. She turned out to be Medusa, incarnate. And so we slew her, leaving her cold, dead body on the stone steps. Because, you know, that's the kind of guy so we are. A murderer. Our cardinal. Oh, cardinal, that was it. No more. I see. You? We were able to convince the Emperor to believe us, but he wants to believe the Cardinal as well. To that end, he wanted an opportunity for both of us to have our say before him. The Cardinal's not gonna show. There's a chance the Knights might be labeled as assassins. Sorry. Why, there's no need for you to apologize. I'll take all the blame for it. Saray wasn't the one who killed the Cardinal. A professional assassin showed up. They whispered thus, may these weary bones find peaceful rest. But that's the calling card the Scattered Bones Assassin Guild leaves at the scene of their... their doings. Is this true? It is, right? The hell's wrong with you? Just say it. Yeah. I see. I shall report to my superiors about the Assassin's Guild. But to think they could carry out an assassination right under the Shepherd's nose. The Scattered Bones certainly exceed their reputation. Ah, uh, I don't know. Oh yeah, I'm quite sure they'll be pleased to hear it. I couldn't save the Cardinal. I couldn't save anyone. Wait, where's Sergei gone? He's just gone. It stopped raining. How about we take a walk around town? Yeah, let's actually have a look and see who you saved, eh? Eh? How are we not, con you know, construed by malevolence yet? I, I swear he's always like, Oh, I'm so upset! Woe is me! <laughs> I swear that's literally his, you know, go-to face. That's his game face. Alright, Sergei, let's see what you have to say. What are you telling your knights, then? You put your helmet on? What are you doing? Sergei, uh, that's not Sergei at all, is it? He just looks like him. Oh, it is. Attention! The Seventh Platoon will now be supporting the task of guarding and patrolling the city streets. The Eighth and Ninth Platoon will also participate. Now listen carefully. The long spell of rain has finally lifted. People will surely be especially keen to come out and catch the sun. Be on the lookout and remember your crowd control basics. De-escalation policy, understand? Alright, sounds like they're actually going to be doing good stuff. I like it. Good job, guys. I knew I could count on you knights to do what was right. I'm not sure how often you could say that. I feel like whenever you put someone in a position of that kind of power, it's easily corruptible. So I commend them. Hopefully they don't get corrupted. Anyhow, something's going on over here, so we will... There are people you were able to save, Saray. And you got to see the Shrine Church, right? There's our touchy-feeling Mick Leo. Touch Leo. Hey, hey, ah, knock it off. How long is this funk of yours gonna last? Rose. Nuh uh, no sorries and no thank yous. You and I both just did what we could. Let's both of us keep doing our very best, okay? Okay. Okay is okay. And on that note, let's go rest up. I'm beat. Oh, look at Sergey. And these guys are still watching us. Wait, it's only one this time? Who are you, key lady? Why do you have a key around your neck? It's actually a collar as well. Once if you tighten that collar, you die. A horrible and painful death, I'm not, I have no doubt. You're awake. Sorry, overslept. The Emperor seeks to rule directly. However... The diehard followers of the Cardinal have begun to act in very suspicious ways. So they're looking for a war, huh? And without their leader, there will be no one left to keep them in check. And so more will die. Not on my watch. I promise I can stop this war so that your efforts will not have been in vain. 
Thank you, Sergei. What a beast. Go, Sergei, go! Don't get yourself killed, though. That would be really, really poor. Now then. I don't know about you guys, but I'm starving. Let's see what the inn is serving. Of course he's hungry. He's done nothing but sleep. A lot has happened. For Saray. Guess his spirit needed the sleep. Will he be alright? I doubt this is the last time this kind of thing happens. True. You coming? <laughs> Dezel, Dezel was with them? I guess Dezel was hungry as well. Wait, do, do they even eat? How, how do they eat? Do they just like absorb air? Or are they like plankton feeders? I, I honestly don't go. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to the inn again. We were literally right outside it and it's like, No, we're going to teleport you backwards because we don't want you by the inn. Now I have to walk there again because that makes sense. Perfect and utter sense. I can't read any of your things. You're all too quick. Yeah, the scattered bones are freaking beastly assassin dudes. What's the actual assassins? What's what's that merchant guild called? I assume it's not the scattered bones as well, because that would really give it away. Anyhow, let us buy some weapons. Because that's what we always do, we just buy all the weapons. Bye bye bye. This thing's on sale. I assume we can buy them all. Yeah. Whoa, there's so many. Oh, yeah, I want them all. Give them all. Alright, we're now a patron of the shops. I don't know if that's all the shops or just this one in particular, but there you go. Alright, here's our new weapon. It gives you 50 attack. What's terrible? 50 attack sucks. What? Why is it so poor? That makes no sense. Alright, well, you suck. We'll not be using you then. Uh, we still Oh, we do have new daggers. Okay. I wonder if it's worth using these then. We probably should. Uh, try on goods. Fuse two equipment. There you go. Alright, time for you to get some new daggers, Rosie. Holy moly, these are so much better. Okay, we probably should have done this 50 years ago. Jeez, okay, these are considerably better. Right, how about some armor? Whoa, this armor's pretty good. Alright, wear some of that. This doesn't really matter. How about shoes? Anything that gives you green. Or blue, whatever color it is. This one, I guess. There you go. Significantly more powerful now. Woo! Woohoo! Alright, let's fuse some arms. Uh, anything good to fuse? Oh, we can fuse some of these. Oh, okay, we're gonna fuse this with this. And we're gonna fuse this with this. And that is quite powerful now, I believe. That's actually at five, not 109 attack, whereas this only gives you... It doesn't give you any, it's defense. What? That makes no sense. Attack, defense. It gives you defense! Why does it give you defense? That makes no sense! Why is it a weapon that gives you defense? That's useless. Utterly, utterly useless. I don't know why that's a thing. Alright, we're gonna fuse this with this. We're already spending all our money, that is... Whoa, hang on. Oh, okay, no, never mind. I thought they gave you 400 attack for a second. I'm like, jeez, that's a bit, a bit much. Put on this one. We're just gonna fuse everything. Fusing is believing. Pretty sure that's how the saying goes. We've got loads of daggers. Uh, spears, rather. But we don't have her in our party, so it does seem kind of stupid. But there you go. This thing kind of sucks. Dragon Tail is by far his best weapon. I think if we fuse all these styles, we'll actually have more, so we may as well look for one. Anything that kind of gives you a magic attack, I believe, would be the best. Although none of them actually seem to give you magic attack. In fact, they all give you fairly similar things. Let's just fuse them all. Fuse, fuse, fuse. Substifuge. Starfuge. Alright, there you go. What's it give you now? 79. It's still worse. That sucks. I thought it might be better, but no. No, sorry. Anyhow. What exactly were we doing? Going to the inn for some food. Alright, foody food, give me some food. All we want is food. Where the heck is the inn? Oh, here, here we go. Alright, Innie, give me some food. Oh, look, it's this man. Drago stew. I'd give that one about a 70. Out of what, a hundred? Maven! I heard about the church. Word travels fast. It must be difficult being the shepherd. Yeah, in more than a few ways, but I'm good. I'll make sure of it. I see. So, did you find anything out? Yes, Nautilus was not there.
No? It's true. We went all the way to the back of the shrine. No dice. The Seraph Mautelis is shrouded in mystery. Some doubt whether or not he even exists. The Shrine Church has been able to promote faith in Mautelis all the way back to the era of Asgard. That wouldn't be possible without the blessing of an extremely powerful Seraph, don't you think? I believe that Mautelis really did exist and was supported by the people's worship. But then in that case, the problem is, when did he disappear? Well, he's a crazy powerful Mega Seraph with a blessing that covers the whole continent, right? When did he vanish? Same time his blessing went poof, I assume. You mean, the beginning of the Age of Chaos? Wait, if Mal Telus's disappearance was in fact the cause of the Age of Chaos... Then if his blessing returns, that might put an end to it. Let's search for Mal Telus. Hey, Pops, got any ideas? Well, aside from Mautelis' shrine church, there are four other shrines where the power of the Five Lords is said to reside. The Trial Shrines! We were gonna check those out anyway! Huh, <laughs> excellent! If you learn anything on your journeys, let us know! Sounds good. I'll try to trace the old legends as well. Farewell. Stay healthy. Thanks. Yep. I'll be sure to inform Agil and the rest of the guild that you are doing well, my lady. I'm hungry. Hmm. That guy is very suspicious. I'm not really sure what to expect from him, but he seems like to know more than he lets on. Uh-huh. Well, while she's talking. Hope so. Saray does worry me sometimes when he bottles things up. He does, doesn't he? But so do you, Lila. Don't forget, we're here for you too. You're quite right. Thank you. Hmm. There seems to be a lot of side quests, like a crazy amount. Okay, so let's see what this. Oh yeah, there's some... That's what I heard. I figured they must be somewhere in Pandrago. Where there's food, there's rats, and where there's gullible folk, apparently. Well, a plenty, sorry. There'll be con artists in equal droves. Wow. How exactly should we go about looking for the trial shrines? Let's grab that some food. And gel could tell us the general. I'm sick of this Norman collecting already. How is that possible? Everyone knows you love him. You've even got one on your umbrella. Rose, better not to mention the mascot. It gets long. I love long stories! Go ahead, lay it on us! Okay, but don't say I didn't warn you. This little guy here... You can pull out his head to stretch out his neck, like a giraffe. That's what you meant by, it gets long? Same goes for the nose, too. Max length, 1.5 times its height. Ew! That's not even a Norman anymore! That's right. This thing's like a talisman, an amulet, a rabbit's foot, a periapt, that sort of thing. I don't quite get it, but sure. A charm you carry because it's special to you, right? Not really. It was given to me, so I put it on. Mm-hmm. Given to you by who? By your brother? Perhaps I would. I mean, if I was going to hasten the bet, that would probably be what I'd go for, but who knows? Who knows? Who knows? All right, let's try and do some of these side quests then. So there's some talk of rats or something. Some evil being. Oh, there's something right here. That's probably a place to start. Hello, side quest ma Oh, it's Egil. Egil, how's it going? Egil, are you working? Yeah, data gathering. I need to meet with five informants by the end of the day. Sounds like a lot of work. Egil is like the eyes, ears, and brains for us scattered bones. So then, what are you, Rose? I'm the... the head. I'm the boss at any rate. A head, but not the brains. So you're the skull? Shut up! You're ruining my metaphor! <laughs> well, our boss is more like a goddess of victory. Used to be Little Miss Goddess, of course. Little Miss Goddess? Back when our old boss was around. He used to carry her on his back all the time. Those were good times, weren't they? Yep. Help our comrades and defeat our enemies. 
It was simple back then. So it was. But things have changed. In the underworld, information is king. Did you find any good leads? A couple. The one they call Shepherd Malfor was originally a priest in the Church of Rolands. It seems he's angling to fill the power vacuum caused by the death of Cardinal Fortin. Figures. And then there's the business with the fake elixir. The church can no longer ignore the situation, and they've started investigating the source. And does that mean that the village chief of Gadadin will... Gadadin? Um, let me explain. I see. So that's what was going on. Egil, do you think the decision I made... The boss's judgment is the Scattered Bones' judgment. But it might require a bit of following up. Yeah. You're right. Let's head over to Gadadin and see how things stand. Thanks. Okay, interesting. So we found out a bit more about the Shepherd, but we also found out a bit more... Well, something's going on down there. It will go back to Highland. Oh yeah, there's Shepard and Rolance. Do you think those kids ever stopped their banditry? Well, if they're still active, they'll probably hear about it in Laston Bell. If you're curious, why don't we ask around a bit? Okay, there's that. An underground lake we still can't do. We're no closer to these Irish gems. You know anything about Lady Lake recently? I wonder why Godarden is chief are getting on. Okay, so we ought, we ought to go to Godarden now, I guess. That seems to be the thing to do. I wonder if we should do a lap around Pendrago just in case there's any more quests. It may be a decent thing. Just there's pop into the knights' quarters, see if Sergey's around. If not, then we shall march on and to glory. And it probably won't be very glorious, but we will try. After all, ah, there is something here, so I'm glad we came this way. Okay, what's happening in this corner here? What are you guys doing? What are you up to? Hey, wanna go ask them about the Irish gems? Alrighty, I'll go ask. Will you be all right? They look pretty sketchy. Leave it to me. All merchants are like family. Money keeps us together. Are you sure about this? Let's just leave it to Rose. We're not savvy enough to know when we're being tricked. Yeah, speak for yourself. I got it. They said they saw an Irish gem in the ruins north of here. A ruin in the north? Weird. Why do they keep laughing? Are they laughing at me? They think you're a phony shepherd and that I'm a victim of your con artistry. They've got it wrong. It can't be helped. There are many who claim to be the shepherd. But still, to be treated like a con artist? No point in arguing with them. Yeah. It's way better to be laughed at than to be frightened of. Alright, so we found some information about Irish gems. That's good. I don't know if there's anything else around here in Pendrago, but like I said, we'll do a lap around and then we'll teleport off to Godarden to see what's going on down there. We may actually have to fight some church people. In fact, it could well be that the the so-called other shepherd could be in Godarden trying to do mess things up, let's say. Which probably will give us a good opportunity to take him down. Knock him down a few pegs. Maybe not kill him. I'm not sure that's really the way we... The way Saray does things, but you never know, right? Saray could turn into a vicious murderer, we have no idea. I feel like that would be a kind of character development that we didn't see coming, but it's not impossible. Anyhow, okay, we gotta go up. Oh wow, what even is this? Okay, I did not know this was here. Sergei's here with his other guy. Oh, is that the Thank shepherd? Thank you for taking the time to come today. Lo, I am the shepherd, Malfor. Hey, tell me, Shepard, is it really true that you saved the plagued city? Oh, it was nothing. I just helped the Princess of Highland a little by building a bridge in a single day. Then what about the Battle of Glavin? Did you really stop the war? Why, it was easy. All I did was tell them that this isn't the time to be quarreling with one another. It was a hard battle. But I was able to gain support from the Roland's Knight Squad. Isn't that Captain Sergei from the Platinum Knights? Then it might not completely be a lie. <laughs> Luckily, I managed to do it without getting caught. 
I suppose the knights wouldn't just let some mere imposter do as he pleases. So you mean to say this bloke must be... an actual shepherd? It matters not what I am, but please, no matter what, believe in the blessing of the Seraphim. That is the only way to bring salvation to this world. If the people desire it so, I, the Shepherd Malthor, shall put my life on the line to deliver their prayers. Shepherd Malthor! Shepherd Malthor! May the Seraphim's blessing cover the world! This is ridiculous. Saray's the one who did those things. And I'm sure Sergei knows that too. There must be a reason. Probably. I haven't seen that bad. If they're getting the blessing, it's like not the worst. I have no excuse. Forgive me, Saray. Lies! What's the excuse? But there you go. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Alright, dude, what's up? Ha ah, ha ha! In order to secure the Seraphim's blessing, we need an appropriate vessel and someone to conduct the blessing ceremony. Everyone, your donations please. Oh, he's getting money? Are you freaking serious? Oh, dude, I thought you were a good guy, and now you're not a good guy anymore. <laughs> uh, just because you're an imposter doesn't make you a bad person, necessarily. Alright. Sergei, it's time for you to redeem yourself. Come talk to me, buddy. Please wait, Shepard Soray. There's a reason behind Malfor's actions. I'm sure. I trust Sergei. We're quite unsure how he worked his way in. But Malfor has been a favorite of General Tuller. And so, the General has ordered the Night Squad to protect the Shepherd, Malfor. That's the reason? They are just pawns of the Empire, after all. General Tuller also has a close relationship with the Imperial Majesty, and- No more excuses! Whatever the reason is, it is clear I have sullied your honor. I can only apologize. <laughs> Not sure I had honor to start with. Anyway, it was nice to see that people expect so much from the Shepherd. It's a good sign. What a gentleman. Gentlemen, Schmettelman, what were you doing just standing around? I'm afraid I could do not. Knowing all the while who the true Shepherd was. Looks like they took advantage of just how earnest you are. It's pretty ironic. The less affected by malevolence you are, the harder it is to live an honest life. Such is human condition, I suppose. Even so, that is how humans live. It's tough. Well, there you go. Now we know the reason. No one really gives a damn. I mean, it's not... As long as he's not extorting people for their money, I don't really see it as a problem. If he's actually trying to get the blessing of the seraph Seraphim, then fair enough, he's actually doing us a favor, if nothing else. So I'll leave him be for now. Perhaps there'll be something we sort out late afterwards, but for now we will just leave it be. Anyhow, we should hightail it over to Godarden. I think that is probably the place to be right now, and we will see what's going down with our friendly neighborhood Pope. Whose name I forget. I it was something noticed, cool. Whenever Miklio gets angry, it always has something to do with Saray. What? That's not true. Then what's with that response? Come on, you guys are family. Uh huh. Miklio's a douche. No one likes him anyway. I mean, he's an all right character. He's all right as a friend, I guess, but he's still a douche. Why are you, you sure asleep? A look on your... All right, here we go. We we'll save it here quickly. Let's have a listen to. Left Pendrago. I've got vengeance to seek in that town. Interesting. All right then. Anyhow, let us let us fast travel away to Godarden. Godarden, we are coming to you. Here we go. All the way to Godarden. Godarden. All right. Oh, this is the shrine. Is We're actually me? in the town. Or does the village have more malevolence than before? Oh, great. I feel it too. I thought we were doing a good thing here, but no, apparently it's all evil. All evils. Alright, what's going down? <laughs> oh, is this guy's here. Anyway, let me buy stuff from this shop, shall we? What's going down? Okay, we'll buy one of these, one of these. Whoa, that's expensive. Expensive stuff, but we will buy it. We're now an acquaintance of this shop as well. Excellent. Yo, what's going down here, Maven? If the world were to come to an end, it would start in the remote lands. Likewise, if people were to go extinct, it would start with children and the elderly. The strong would not even notice the disappearance of the weak. 
Only when extinction finally threatened them would they at last take notice. It is the same in every age. Forgive me, Shepard. Just the bitter complaints of an old man. I feel like he's... There's more to him than meets the eye. I kind of want... Oh, he is here. What do you know? Are you looking for Chief Slenge? Yes. I'm an acquaintance of the Chief, and... I'm sorry, but the Chief is indisposed right now due to illness and will not be taking visitors. What? He is? But be of good cheer! In the name of the Shepherd, I vow to heal this noble servant of the people! Oh, so you're the Shepherd, are you? It's the same guy we just saw! <laughs> Nothing escapes your eye, my lady. Indeed, I am the renowned, the incomparable Shepherd Melfor! Who can't see us in the slightest. All hail the mighty Shepherd. I can tell from your unique accoutrements that you wish you were a Shepherd as well. Eminently understandable, but I cannot recommend it. The Shepherd's life is one of solitude. He spends his days in constant battle, unappreciated by the world he cherishes. Uh, okay? In any case, rest assured that the village chief is in the caring hands of Shepherd Malfour. This Malfour guy is everywhere. Do you think it's malevolence that's causing his illness? Is the chief even sick? I don't trust that guy. But we do know that the amount of malevolence in this village is increasing. Let's start by reviving the blessing of Gadadin. We can worry about the chief after that. Makes sense. That's the real shepherd's job, after all. So what, do we need to find a seraphim then? Uh, so what do we do about this then? Uh, let's hunt Irish gems, I need that. Pets on the radio, okay. How do I do that? First things first, we'll need to find a seraph to service the Lord's vessel. Let's talk to the villagers and see if anything, okay. Anyone got clues, eh? Oh, <laughs> I discovered a school. School is great fun. All right, kids are useless. Uh, somebody, anybody, help the chief. May God's blessing be upon him. Oh, Seraphine, if you can hear me, please. Okay, that's not helpful at all. Leave the village, chief to me. Good job, buddy. I, I appreciate it. Do you hear that the chief... Okay, this isn't helpful. Uh, let's try this blue person. Aha. Uh -huh. Kitty, what's going on? I really saw one, a real dirt leech. It was in Yerda Cave. Did that kid have resonance or something? That dirt leech he talked about is a hellion, isn't it? Yes. It's a very troublesome hellion with high vigilance. It'll be difficult to catch it. Wait, so is that part of the thing? Is that where I want to go? Rose, is that where I want to go? Oh, Rose, you tell me. Yeah, it actually is. I'm not sure exactly, but it's as strong as it sounds. Okay. I guess we better purify it then. So let's go to Yurdo Cave. Where is Yurdo Cave? Is that it over here? No, that's the shrine. Could we uh, ask Axio for his blessing? He is a protector, Seraph, responsible for the trial. It's probably better to find someone else. No, but he would be awesome. Maybe if we purify said le maybe the leech is a dragon. That'd be cool. Alright. There is a, a teleporty point here. So, we should be able to go to Yurder Yuger Cave, I think. I hope. Yuga Yuga Cave, where are you? Uh, nowhere, apparently. Go done. Ugh, oh, damn it, come on. Really? I swear it's here somewhere. Where is it? It must be here. What? Okay, let's check the map then. Yeah, there it is. It's over there. I guess you just have to run towards it rather than... Oh, we've actually been there before. For some reason, we can't use the save point to get there, so we have to wander over. In fact, we will call it a day there. We will head to Yogo Yogo Cave next time. It's not actually called that. It's Yoda Cave, but whatever. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you do join me again. I look forward to seeing you, and I hope you have a great time until then. Good night for now. Good night.